welcome back to Say Mojo Homestead. I am checking out the garden. I've been gone all weekend. We're at our last competition. So I didn't get any garden time this weekend and I was missing it. So I'm coming out to check on things. Um, and while I was kind of checking and walking through the garden, I was gonna just tell you about what we're doing today. Um, we have a vet coming to the homestead and we're gonna do our annual herd check. These beans are like going wild, these sweet peas. Um, sugar snap be pea, sugar snap beans, sweet peas, I don't know what you call them. I've always called them um, sugar snap peas, but they are just taking off with this weather that we've been having. But it's been getting cold at nights, but the days are pretty nice. So they've been, they've been enjoying it. So every year after our goat's kid, we do what's called a herd check. And we'll just have the vet come out to the farm, check all of our moms, check all of our goats, make sure that everyone's healthy, that they're staying healthy, see if there's anything we need to address. And then um, this time we're actually gonna have them um, disbud the babies as well. And we are going to have them trim their hooves because they have not been cooperating with us. So we'll be doing that as well. If you hear the baby screaming, it's because we've actually separated them from the mamas. Um, the mamas are very anxious to get to their babies, but we separated them out so that um, we can get to them easily to disbud. So these mamas are probably ready for their babies to drink. Esther's babies are actually out. I'm going to be talking to the vet about Esther and her babies because Jeremy sent me a text while I was out of town. Oh my goodness! Jeremy has been working in the garden and I didn't get to see it because we had, I came, went straight from competition to supper club um, and I didn't get home from supper club until real late. So I literally haven't even laid eyes on the garden and it looks so good. I'm so excited about our layout this year. It's neat to see the, like the transformation. Um, but anyway, so Esther, ah, oh, she's feeding her babies. Okay. So Jeremy texted me and he was said, I'm very concerned because the babies have not, um, Esther has not really let them get on a nurse. Now he's, he was working and he was in and out. Um, so he was very, very concerned about her feeding them. So I was, I'm currently pasteurizing cow milk because some baby goats can't have raw cow milk. So, um, that's what we have in our fridge right now. So I am currently pasteurizing it so we can start supplementing, but she did just stand there for a good while and let those babies drink. So I was not sure how much to prepare to bottle feed them. I do think we still will go ahead and give them a bottle a day, but she just stood there and they got a good feeding in. So I'm really glad I, I saw that because now we know that we aren't, we won't have to feed them continuously. I am interested to see what the vet says about their weight. So the vet will be here in about 20 minutes. Sorry, my eyes are watering. It's like this cold air is hitting them and they've just decided to water. Uh, the vet will be here in about 20 minutes and I do plan to ask her about that and about um, their weight. They are Nigerian dwarfs. Esther is a smaller goat. Her goats are always smaller. Um, they don't feel like their tummies don't feel sunken in. I'm not super concerned, but I would like to have their perspective. And I do, oh, I have a little patio in my garden area. Look! That's fun. Oh, my greenhouse area. Sorry. I'm like, I'm so excited by this. This little patio area I have at the greenhouse. Stoop. So I knew that was coming, but it looks really good. I'm excited. So anyway, yeah, um, <coughs> I'm not incredibly concerned. I don't think that like they're um, at the risk of being malnourished. I just don't want them to be super stunted and I want to make sure they're getting what they need. So we're going to go ahead and ask them about that also when they come. And I'm just walking through the rows now because I haven't yet. <laughs> looking at everything um but yeah i i think that they are fine 
I do think that as they get older and as they grow more, she might not be able to keep up with them. And that's ultimately, ultimately my main concern is if she will be able to keep up with two babies. She had two last year that she fed. We did end up pulling Luna because she could not support all three. And we ended up bottle feeding Luna. I don't remember if we bottle fed the other two. I might have to go back and review some videos. But I don't remember supplementing at all with them. I just don't think it would be a bad idea to just plan to supplement one feeding a day just so um, they are getting that as well. And we know that they are getting fed enough to grow well. So, um, so yeah, that's what we have going on today. We have our herd check and um, <coughs> our herd check and our baby check. And we will let you know how that goes after the vets leave. I'll let you know what they say. So we are using a new vet this year. Our typical experience is that they will come. They will obviously check all their temperatures. They'll check their, um, their, their poop to see if they, what their worm load is. All goats have some sort of parasite load. What you want is like under 300 parasites per something. I don't know. There's a reason why I don't do this. Um, but you just want that parasite load to be under a certain amount. Whoa. We need to harvest some asparagus. Our asparagus are very tall. I'm also going to be harvesting asparagus. We typically have a herd check. They'll do that. They'll check parasite load. They'll make sure everyone's healthy. They'll check baby. Um, administer any medications if they need it, any medicines if they need it. I'm not anticipating them needing anything. Their coats look great. Their eyes look great. Um, babies seem to be doing well. So I think that it'll be just like a routine well checkup. It's, that's what it is. It's like a well checkup for your goats. After they leave, I'll let you know kind of what they did and, and um, what they found and where we're going. Okay, so the vet just left. Um, this is the first time we've used this vet, and I was so pleased. Uh, she looked over everyone, said that everyone looked great. All our mamas looked great. Babies looked good. Um, it was a clear report. She didn't need to give any dewormer. She did uh, say just because we haven't given them a dewormer in a while to go ahead and give all the moms ivermectin or all the adults ivermectin just for precautionary measures she just said it didn't look like they needed it but um, it's always good after they kid because their immune systems are down and they're putting so much energy into making milk and raising these babies that it's good just to go ahead and deworm them and that's what we've always done we've always given them ivermectin after right before or right after they kid so that's not abnormal for the way we care for our herd anyway. And the reason why we prefer ivermectin is because it doesn't um, taint the milk. So if we were pulling milk and consuming it, we could. Um, I don't know that we ever have consumed it at that point, but we could if we wanted to. Um, it does not go through the milk. So we had a great first well checkup for the babies and a great well check up for all the does everyone's doing great and all the babies were disputed so they're all ready to um, kind of prepare to go to their next homes so that is all i have for you today thanks for hanging out with me on the homestead i hope you all have a great week and be blessed